when you play contact rugby, you are risking your future mental health. Depression. Increased drug and alcohol use. Increased violence, particularly against women. Suicidality and high rates of suicide. And loss of cognitive functioning, including memory. The constitution of that is who you are. And if we lose who we are, you know, really, what are we? Rugby is a game that is ingrained in the culture of the British Isles. Despite being adopted as the national sport of countries such as New Zealand and Georgia, England is globally accepted as the home of the sport. This is most likely because it's where the roots of the modern game were formed. In 1823, a schoolboy named William Webb Ellis unknowingly invented the sport while playing football with a group of fellow students here at Rugby School in Warwickshire. Little did he know he was giving birth to what is now the second most popular team sport in the country. And the popularity of rugby has grown even further in recent history too, due to the advancement of the professional game and events such as England's famous 2003 World Cup victory. It's coming back for Johnny Wilkinson. He drops for World Cup glory. Yes! It's up. It's over. Yes! He's done it. The latest figures from Sport England boast as many as 1.5 million players every week, playing for over 1,800 clubs across the nation. The Rugby Football Union, the sport's governing body in England, say that playing rugby is healthy too. They say that playing rugby promotes teamwork, discipline, enjoyment, sportsmanship, respect, and also helps battle the obesity problem that the country currently faces. It all sounds very positive, but rugby has a darker side that is much lesser known. Due to the amount of tackles and collisions going on on the pitch, Injuries are inevitable. The odd cut and bruise might not matter, but it's the injuries you can't see that can be the most dangerous. A concussion is a, a, a functional brain uh, uh, injury. By that I mean, if you were to scan the brain after such an injury, you wouldn't find anything terribly amiss. However, the brain is the control center uh, of our bodies. Um, and we see that some of those functions are affected by concussion. So th things like our senses, our emotions, our ability to recall events, our speech, those sort of things can all be affected by a concussion, even though on a scan, you wouldn't necessarily see any overt brain injury. Dr. Lupoli has taken a strong interest in concussion and its effects, but someone who knows them better than anyone is 29-year-old Adam Canning. Adam was a promising player, earning himself a dream move to Coventry after impressing the season before at Birmingham and Solihull. But he was to find out the devastating effects of a head injury. I went to Cov, um, trained really hard through the pre-season, and then it was in the pre-season game, just before the start of my first year at Cov, that I had my injury, uh, which ended my career. Their scrum half had just taken a quick tap penalty and we were retreating to get, get back 10. Um, one of our back row players came in and made the tackle and I sort of came in as the second tackler. So my head was sort of stuck out the side with no, no support and their second row just lined me up, came in and sort of forearm smashed me right in the face, right on the nose. I was definitely out, I rolled over, I was out for about three or four seconds and then Tried to get back up, wobbly legs and nearly fell over trying to get back up and uh, the physios were on within sort of 30 seconds and dragging me off the pitch luckily. Coventry sent me to um, Dr Belly, a neurologist at Queen Elizabeth Hospital and after a couple of scans and a um, few consultations with him he advised me not to play contact sports again, but I didn't, I didn't need anybody to confirm it. You know, I knew, I knew it was all over. The risk of my longer term health was something that um, 
I just just couldn't couldn't take the risk. But it's devastating to be honest. It's everything I ever wanted to do. All I ever wanted to do was be a rugby player, um, and I felt like I worked really hard on and off the pitch to try and maximise my potential. But contact sport is like the last thing, the last thing in my mind, just because of how fragile my brain feels within my skull still. Despite his injury meaning his brain would never feel the same again, Adam was actually very lucky. Had the physios not recognised his concussion, things could have been much worse. The RFU have accepted that concussion is a problem and responded with a recognise and remove programme. Right at the top of the RFU from the medical management team, they have filtered down an educational programme about recognising and removing people with suspected concussion from um, the areas of risk. But the sort of things that we would be looking for are uh, confusion, uh, nausea, uh, dizziness, being emotionally labile, uh, loss of consciousness, loss of memory, um, and or just even just a feeling of not quite being right. These are all things that might uh, be due to having a concussive head injury. But for some experts, recognise and remove just isn't enough. Professor Eric Anderson from the University of Winchester has devoted years of study to the dangers of concussion in sport. Well, this concussion stuff is a problem. Rugby Football Union won't deny that, of course. But what they and everybody else are doing is saying, recognise, remove, recognise, remove. The effectiveness of that isn't very good because recognise is incredibly difficult. But what we fail to remember is that recognise a concussion and remove from the game means you have experienced traumatic brain injury that we know has lifelong repercussions. Removal after that injury is obviously just common sense. On the 29th of January 2011, recognise and remove failed in the most tragic of ways. Carrick Fergus School were playing in the second round of the Ulster under 15s, but one player would be lacing up his boots for the final time. 14-year-old Benjamin Robinson suffered multiple brain injuries on the field due to tackling, but was allowed to play on despite being checked for concussion on three occasions. When Ben went in for one final tackle, he never got up. Benjamin Robinson had multiple concussions on the field and died. And it's horrific. When we place all of our values on recognize, remove, and we, the sport organizations make it seem like they're doing something to address the problem, no, they're only doing something to address the problem that has already occurred, concussion on the field. So in March 2016, Eric and a group of other leading specialists wrote an open letter to government health officials asking them to ban the tackle. There's an overwhelming amount of information that shows that concussion has long-term health implications. We know that multiple subconcussive hits to the head can lead to dementia-type symptoms. And we basically said, Hey, look, there's a real problem. We've got young kids literally banging heads in school systems. And there's a simpler way to do this. Just change school systems to touch, tackle, flag, ripper, rugby, whatever you want to call it, but take out the element of the game where the contact occurs and you'll greatly, greatly reduce the concussions. But rugby is a game full of traditionalists who say that the game just wouldn't be the same without tackling. I, I can't deny that contact is, is dangerous, but if managed properly, it is no more dangerous than a tackle in football. Um, and uh, I think that it is an integral part of the game that to take the tackle out of the game would effectively neuter the game and change it to beyond all recognition. Yes, I could be a little bit biased. I've been involved in rugby for many, many years in many levels, but I'm also a doctor. Uh, and I have an ethical duty to evaluate information that comes to me um, and, and to make a, a professional decision on the basis of the, of the quality of the evidence that is put in front of me. The idea that we can escape long-term repercussions of jarring your brain inside your head is a fantasy.